Moo! Welcome everybody to Majora's Mask, part number 18. I'm Cal's Crazy. And in the last part we saved an old man from some snow. We saw we were supposed to go and talk to his uh, crying son and play a song for him. So we're back here in the Goron village. There's a Deku here in the snow. It's kind of odd. As you can see, I got 200 rupees. I went back to town to get some money. And I'll show you why, right now. Thanks for stopping by! I'm doing business with a focus on Goron clientele. And that, sir, makes you a customer. Right now, I've got a special trade-in offer just for you. I'll give you my biggest bomb bag, regularly priced at a thousand rupees. In return, you give me your big bomb bag and just 200 rupees. Do you need any? Sure! Biggest bomb bag. We now upgraded to 40 bombs. Thanks again! Um, if, so he sells only to Goron clientele. Interesting. Anyways, that's all we needed him for. So now we can curl and pound and get back in here. Go on, shiny diny. And the kid is still crying. What a brat. Just shut the heck up, man. Anyway, so you come in here. And we can play the song, which I've already forgotten. Surprised? No. Lullaby intro. A, right, left. We don't know the end of the song though, so what will happen? That song! That's the song Daddy always plays for me before I go to sleep. I'll sing the next part. Now we know the whole song. I can't stop looking at his boobies. It is just dis disturbing. It's just like daddy's right beside me. I don't know, that guy looks way too old to be a father. Zzz. The Gohan Lullaby intro became the Gohan Lullaby. The lullaby blankets listeners in calm while making eyelids grow heavy. It just didn't work on the kid. Apparently, made all of the Guans go to sleep. So, whenever you play that song, Gorons will fall asleep. And there are some Deku sticks here, and some fire. And we'll show you why right now. So, turn into a human, light your Deku stick, and run, and run, and run, and run, and run, and run. And run. And run, and run. Light the torch. Light the torch. Oh crap. And run. And light the torch. And run. Oh my god! Get the torch! Get the torch! Oh my god! Get the torch! Get the torch! Oh, Henry! Ah! <laughs> Henry! Ah, go, Henry! Oh shit. There we go. Get all the torches. And the chandelier begins to move around. It's very
very odd. Why would you ever want the chandelier to move around? Thank heavens! Was the elder son crying because he was hungry? There's nothing we can do. It's gotten so cold in the mountains. We can just... We can't seem to get our hands on any of our food. At this rate, everyone will go hungry and die. But I have an emergency supply of food hidden away, so I'll be fine. Hmm. He's hidden some food somewhere. Maybe we can steal it. And give it to that guy out on the ledge, because he needs it more. And then this guy can rot and die. <laughs> like, seriously, we're going to steal somebody's food. That's what we're going to do here. So, to steal food, we got to play a little game. And that's a game of Geronimo. So get on the carpet. And here we go. And into there. And did we get anything? No, we got nothing. Night of the final day. So as the chandelier turns, you want to go super fast, jump off the edge, and um, yeah, break the chandelier. And obviously as the chandelier goes around, this becomes harder. Oh crap. And there was nothing in that one either, was there? It's always the last one, I swear to god. It's always the last one. It's almost like it it, it makes me, you know, want to suffer in pain and agony. I've seen other people get it on the first try. No, not me. Not me. It's gonna make me suffer, isn't it? Here we go. Oh no, hold it. I'm not gonna hit that. See? Now you gotta time it too. Come on. Did I get that? Oh, I missed that? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Why, why would I miss that? That's no good. I didn't request this. I didn't request any of this. Like, why would I want this? It doesn't make sense. Okay, here we go. Come on. I'm gonna get this one right here. That's it! There's my meat. Yes. I guess it's not meat. I guess it's some kind of rock meat. So grab it. We got the food. Get the food. Gotta get the food. Some kind of rock on a stick. Mm mm mm. Oh yeah. I got my rock on a stick, I'll tell you that right now. So anyways, we're gonna carry this all the way back to the mountain village. We can't turn into a ball. We can't attack. Well, hold on. It says we can punch with this thing in our hand. But wouldn't we lose it? I don't see how. I don't want to try pushing the punch button. But it says we can defend ourselves. What happens here? Yeah, see? You throw it away. You don't want that. So yeah, you can't defend yourself while carrying your food. the wall. Remember that. Next time you go to like, if you if you go and pick up a pizza or just go out and get food, that's why you should get delivery. Because when you get delivery, you can stay at home and you're safe. If you go out and you go and pick up your food and you have to bring it back, what will you do if you're attacked? Huh? You can't defend yourself while you're carrying a pizza or some chicken. Hmm? There's nothing you can do about it. You're at the mercy of those who are trying to attack you. Because you have food. <laughs> now where's this guy who wants food real bad? Is he still up on the ledge? Yeah he is, even at night time. Stuck up on the ledge. So, throw him some food. That's, that's it! It's so good that I can dream about it. The Dongo's Cavern's finest rock sirloin. This is my absolute failing. Blessed be this meal. Oh, my energy has returned to me. I am coming down now. Wait one moment. You were incapable of doing that before. Really. Oh, I wondered who it might be. Why, if it isn't Armani. You are alive. That's just fucking freaky, the frog on his head. It really is. 
Yes, I see. That is the reason why I knew. You knew it was my favorite food. Oh, I almost forgot. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. You got Don Giro's mask. It looks just like Don Giro, conductor of the Frog Choir. Hmm. It was crafted so well that no one would even think twice if you were to direct the Frog Choir. I hope that spring will come soon so that I can hear the frog's enthusiastic performance. Yeah. Hope as I might, it's still cold. I'm going back to go on village. Dum de dum 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 dum. And there he goes. Off to go on village he goes. Isn't that nice of him? Um, so we got the Don Giro's mask. Which, basically, if you've seen those frogs talking to you, you can talk to the frogs now with your Don Giro's mask. Let's see, what else is there to do? Is there anything else we can do before we travel back in time? Well, I guess we can go down the road. Yeah, we can go down the road. What the hell? We can go down the road. So here we go. I was just checking to see if there's anything else we can do, but I can't think of it right now. But, if I do think of something, we can always do it. Later. So read this sign. This way to Snowhead. Beware of the slippery valley trail and the giant falling snowballs. Wow. Sounds deadly. So we're headed to Snowhead. Hey, give me some Snowhead. <laughs> Anyways, you want to go as fast as you can. Build up your speed, because whoa, as you can see, there are deadly. Oh, there are deadly snowballs here. Oh no. Oh no, this is this is a shame. And you have to make some jumps. Jump. Yes. Jump. For my love. Jump it. Come on. Got a break in my heart. Jump it. Gotta go and jump in my heart. Uh, jump! Jump! For my love! Jump! <laughs> That's a different jump song there. As you can see, there's a big snow blizzard. What's that? There's something in the middle of that blizzard. Can't you see it? No, I can't, actually. I don't see anything in the middle of the blizzard, but... We put our lens of truth on, and it's actually the biggest freaking gone you've ever done seen. He's invisible, and he's blowing. This gone is blowing at Snowhead. He's blowing Snowhead. <laughs> that the biggest gone is blowing Snowhead. So what do you gotta do? Well, we saw all the other Gorons fall asleep. Why wouldn't this one? Hmm? Whoops. So play your lullaby. falls down into the pit like seriously he fell down there like he fell down there seriously that's a long way man that's gotta hurt then again, I guess Domani fell down there how'd they get his body out hmm it's kinda weird anyways turn back into a human and smack you L smack that L's ass smack it and boom, shagalaga, when the walls fell. We get another checkpoint, so we can travel by warp power here. Ooh, fairy time. Give me full life. And that is our next temple, temple number two. But we will have to tackle that 
in a future episode. I think I'm going to do something else just before I go into the temple. Um, I have some other plans because we're going to turn back time and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, we'll do that in a future episode. It's coming up soon, though. But until then, everybody, I've been Cal's Crazy. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment below. And, of course, move!